LifeSquad.com is proud to be an essential community service and Barry Chamber member, safely supporting families and organizations with head lice care across Canada. We are here to help anyone that's hungry, anyone that's in need of a good meal. Uh, we just wanted to help out in the community and help feed everyone, you know, with Thanksgiving. Canada's in a transition from CERB to other programs and a lot of people are struggling and it's really hard for people to sometimes find what they need. So we wanted to help fill the gap and make sure everyone's fed this Thanksgiving weekend. Innisfil Pride was created in spring 2019 by myself and Jake Tucker. We really wanted a spot for the community to come together and have a welcome support system and fun activities to do locally. So today we've been putting together the Innisfil Thanksgiving dinner where we are totally helping support the community and we couldn't have done it without the generosity of the different businesses and community members. It's really been amazing to see everyone come together and create a feast for everyone. We are giving out a selection of ham, turkey, cranberries, stuffing. Uh, we have a plethora of different uh, food that we're handing out. We also have desserts. Uh, I think we've got some pasta, some salads. So we're handing it out as long as we can to as many people as we can. And we're just happy to be here and help support everyone during a time of need. We have been so thankful for everyone's generosity in making this come together. It's truly been a community effort. We've had several individuals donate a hundred to this cause to help us buy things that were needed for the event. We've also had local farmers and businesses donate turkeys, vegetables. Uh, we've had about 200 pounds of vegetables donated to the cause today. Five turkeys, five hams. It's just been absolutely amazing. And you'll see a social media post up in the next couple days with a list of all of the donors. So thank you so much. Innisfil Pride will be paying close attention to the COVID-19 rules and restrictions and we're really really hoping that COVID-19 will come and go quickly and we can get back to the everyday normal instead of the new normal. Um, with that being said we are hoping to plan some sort of festivities for next year but if this lasts longer than what we're anticipating we may have to do some more virtual events some more things like the takeout dinners and stuff like that. COVID willing, we might be doing a Christmas dinner with a sit-down option instead of just takeout.